bunch of wiper link has come off. Only the driver side is still attached. So we're going to replace both, both the links. One's missing. People steal these things if you can believe that. Sometimes these stick pretty good, and this tool makes it a lot easier. Carefully pry this out of the windshield. I guess it's easier with the cabin filter cover removed. And that was a good, good time to replace the cabin filter. You want to vacuum out some of these leaves as well. And make sure your fender drains are clear. Another source for a water leak is this cover here. This is the main engine harness cover or uh, harness. And there's a cover here. And uh, if water builds up in this area and this seal is no good, water will get into the car.
You can see the link just pops off of this ball here. And what you want to make sure is that these links are free. I've got other videos where you can see that these shafts seize up. Once these shafts seize up, it requires more strength for, of the motor, more amperage, and you'll notice your wiper is going slow. So this one here is a little stiff as well. I'm going to remove the pin for the shaft and lube it up. As a reminder, I'm going to write down bottom, and this is top. This one was on the top, this one was on the bottom. You don't want to t loosen this nut, you do want to check that it's tight, but you don't want to move this, because when you move this lever here, you're going to screw up the parking position of the uh, wipers. <laughs> So just check it if it's tight. There's a C-clip here, you want to remove that one, but be careful, don't let it go flying. One on this side as well. And you can wiggle the shaft out. So washer, and there's an O-ring under here. Don't lose the O-ring and the washer. There's a washer on top and another O-ring on the top. You see how rusty this is? So you want to give this a good polishing, cleaning it up, and then uh, lube it up with grease and NDCs is my favorite combination. If you don't have a wire reel to clean this, you can use some emery cloth and just clean it by hand. See there's a cavity in here, you want to fill that one with grease.
everyone has their own special concoction of liquids, so use what you wish. Nice and free now. And push the C-clip back into place. You know it's in place when you can rotate it and spin it freely. That's it, nice and free. Do the same thing on this side. Forgot to show you my nice clean balls. Always nice to have clean balls. Just give them a good rub down. Feel for any lumpy spots. Once your balls are clean, you can assemble the uh, or attach the rods. It should be the same. Now attach the uh, wiper links, a little bit of lube, rubber grease will help the links slide onto the balls better. Just push them on till they click. You can use some pliers to help in that. So this was the bottom link. Okay, all done again. And in the park position, you know you've got it correctly when these guys are sitting nice and horizontal like this, in a straight line. Um, that's it. Assemble and reverse of removal. Forgot to mention that if you did move the uh, center motor arm or you're installing a new motor, uh, in order to find the parking position, what you do is you connect the motor, leave the arms off or the links off, Turn the key on, cycle the wipers once, um, so just push it up once and then put it back to off, let the motor run its course and then when it stops that's when you put the link back on and as you can see here the link, the ball is on the left side of the motor connector, the motor connector is right here and then you just line everything up nice and horizontal or parallel to the bottom bar.